building blocks of geometry geometry is the part of mathematics that deals with size shapes positions and dimensions of objects squares rectangles triangles and circles are some of the simplest shapes in flat geometry cubes cuboids cylinders cones and spheres are some simple shapes in solid geometry but in order to understand these shapes you must first learn about the building blocks of geometry the building blocks of geometry are point line ray line segment and plane they help us to study about plane figures like square rectangle triangle circle and polygons and also about solid figures like cube cuboid cylinder cone and sphere point a point is just a dot and it does not have any dimensions that means it doesn't have length or breadth but a point does have a fixed position as in these examples we name points by using capital letters for example point a point b point c point g and point h an example of a point is a full stop line a line is made up of points and are straight it can extend in both directions hence it does not have any end points since a line does not begin or end at a fixed point it does not have a fixed length that can be measured in the given examples the arrows at the opposite ends of each line denotes that the line can extend in both directions we name lines by using two points from the opposite ends of the line with the symbol above the letters in the first example if we name one end of the line g and the other end h then the line will be called line gh or line hg in the second example if one end of the line is x and the other end is y then the line will be called line xy or line yx an example of a line is the number line ray a ray is also made up of points like a line but unlike a line it does not extend in both directions it begins from a fixed point and extends only in the opposite direction a ray also does not have a fixed length that can be measured in the given examples you can see that one end of the ray is fixed and the arrow at the opposite end denotes that the ray can extend in that direction like a line a ray is also named by using two letters from the opposite ends but while naming a ray we must denote its fixed end point first followed by a point from the opposite end and the symbol above the letters in the first example if we name the fixed end as point m and the opposite end that can be extended as point n then the ray will be called ray mn and not ray nm similarly in the second example if the fixed end is point e and the opposite end is point f then the ray will be called ray ef and not ray fe an example of a ray is the sun rays that we draw line segment a line segment is a part of a line it starts and ends at fixed points hence it has a fixed length which can be measured note that a line segment has two end points 
that cannot be extended. As you can see in the given examples, there are no arrows at the end points and that means that a line segment does not extend beyond its fixed end points. A line segment is named using its two end points with the symbol above the letters. In the first example, if one end point is K and the opposite end point is L, then the line segment will be called KL. And in the second example, if one end point is O and the other end point is P, then the line segment will be called OP. An example of a line segment is the sides of a square or a rectangle. Plane. A plane is a flat surface and it does not have any thickness. Examples of planes that we see around us are the top of a table, the surface of a mirror, the surface of a blackboard or the screen of a television. Before we end, Let's do a quick recapitulation of everything we learnt in this video. A point is just a dot with a fixed position and is named with a single capital letter. For example, point A, point D or point H. A line is a collection of points and it extends in both directions. It is named with two letters for two points each from the opposite ends of the line with the symbol of a line above the letters. For example, line AB or BA, line DE or ED, line HG or GH. A ray is also a collection of points like a line but it extends only in one direction. The opposite end of a ray is a fixed point. Just like a line, a ray is also named with two letters for two points each from the opposite ends of the ray. But while denoting a ray, we must always remember to write the fixed end point first. For example, if we draw a ray that begins from the point M and extends up to the point P. Then we will name the ray MP with the symbol and not PM because the ray does not begin from P, it begins from M. A line segment is a part of a line or a ray. The ends of a line segment are fixed points which means a line segment does not extend beyond its end points. Hence, a line segment has two end points and its length can be measured. A line segment is denoted by the two end points. For example, line segment AB or line segment DE or the line segment HG.